This is a theoretical overview for the laboratory experiment on kinematics with constant acceleration. It is also referred to as the ramp lab because in the setup there is a ball rolling down a ramp and then enters free fall flight before hitting the ground. The objective is to make measurements on the movement of the ball along the ramp, which then can be used as input to calculate the horizontal displacement along the ground. The overall goal is to verify that the equations for kinematics with constant acceleration have predictive value. To measure the behavior of the ball along the ramp, you first need to establish the angle of the ramp. This can be established with simple trigonometry, knowing the hypotenuse of the roll and the change in height on the ramp. Because the ramp restricts motion in a straight line, we can set up a one-dimensional coordinate system along it. We set the displacement along the ramp and measure the time of a roll. With the ball starting from rest, we can calculate an acceleration and then use that and the time to calculate the final velocity. Once the ball leaves the ramp, it is in free fall. The horizontal acceleration is zero and the vertical acceleration is straight downwards with a value of g. This is now projectile motion with the initial velocity having the value calculated from the previous step at the end of the ramp. Make sure to account for the angle of the ramp to correctly calculate the components of this initial velocity. Knowing the drop height from the end of the ramp to the ground, you can calculate the time of flight without having to measure it. You can then use this calculation to establish the theoretical horizontal displacement. Don't forget to calculate the error percentage between your 
measured values for distance versus the theoretical value calculated here. Now go back and repeat all of the measurements and calculations for each ball at every ramp angle. 